Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this third day of Friday, happy Friday. It's uh, early in the morning now, uh, on 3.40 a.m. on this third day of May. And I hate it when I have bad news to deliver. The first weekend in May is a big deal weekend for outdoor activities. And unfortunately, the rain chances continue to go up. I had to take the rain chances up another notch for here and the Gulf Coast beaches for uh, Saturday. And especially later on Saturday into Saturday evening, Saturday night. And now the Storm Prediction Center has raised the severe weather risk another notch to level two for just about all of us. I've got the latest information from them. We'll look at future radar as well. Plus, we'll take a peek into next week. I'm glad you're here this morning. There's much to talk about. Today, we are sandwiched in between two weather systems, one up to the north and west of us with a severe weather threat, and that uh, tropical system, which is drenching Florida today as well. For us, uh, the rain chances are a little bit better than yesterday. Uh, certainly, uh, there will be more showers on the radar than yesterday. I've got the rain chances conservatively placed at about 30% today. Future Radar likes the idea of west of I-65, but, you know, uh, I'll go with 30%. Uh, some forecasts are a little higher. Today's high 88, tonight's low 67. Here's the setup for tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., showing that frontal system uh, approaching the area from Mississippi, and that'll be the, the uh, set the stage for a better rain chance, especially tomorrow afternoon and later on tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening the rain chances become in the likely category this is future radar that goes from noon till 9 p.m tomorrow and you can see showers and thunderstorms will be widespread across the area so have a plan b and by the way the storm prediction center has now gone up to a level two severe weather risk for all of us just about all of us except for the southeastern counties and that includes uh, the threat of damaging winds and maybe some large hail it's not a classic tornado situation but we'll be watching the radar very carefully as well tomorrow and you should be too sunday we'll have to hang on to at least a small rain chance i've got the rain chances bumped up to about 30 percent on sunday i think monday is a warm and dry day i think we're in the upper 80s on monday i think much of tuesday is dry but by tuesday af uh, tuesday evening at 7 p.m the threat of showers and thunderstorms increasing in through the overnight hours on tuesday and into wednesday as well so we'll have to bump up the rain chances a little bit as we get into late tuesday into wednesday so I've got the rain chances at 50% daytime Saturday, 60% Saturday night, and that may be too low. And then uh, we'll hang on to a 30% chance on Sunday with highs in the middle 80s over the weekend. Then uh, mid to upper 80s, I think, on Monday. Much of Tuesday dry until Tuesday evening, Tuesday night with showers and thunderstorms coming in. And then that'll continue into Wednesday as well. I had to take the weekend rain chances up at the beach, especially on Saturday, where there could be some drenching rain and some stronger storms too, Saturday, Saturday night. Uh, and into uh, at least part of the day on Sunday with highs in the upper 70s and the Gulf water temperature at 76. The rain over the weekend will be a good news for the drought situation. The drought monitor map uh, continues to indicate slight drought uh, in central Alabama and a moderate drought in southeast Alabama. Our weather app will keep you on top of the storms. It's got advanced interactive radar. It takes you down to the neighborhood level. You can also see where the lightning is, plus future radar and advanced um, notifications for watches and warnings for your location because it knows where you are. Get it on your phone or tablet today. Go to the App Store, search Rich Thomas Weather. So tomorrow morning, I will have a blog update. Usually that's online uh, right around dawn, uh, if not before. And uh, I'll be watching the radar for you all day long, of course. And there'll be warnings probably coming out, and your weather app will instantly alert you to those. Um, if you have plans tomorrow, have a plan B. Uh, if you have a yard sale in the morning, that might be okay. But the later you get in the day, the better the rain chances. So I'll, I'll keep you up to date. We're live on the radio this morning, 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1. And Ryan Stinnett and I. We'll be talking about this weather situation on TV. Join us on Channel 8 and Channel 32 at 5.50 a.m. Have a good day today. I'll keep you weather aware all weekend long.